Hey there, good Tuesday to you. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Morgan Radford. And I'm Vicki Wynn. NBC News Daily starts right now. Today is Tuesday, September 13th. Inflation slowdown. Gas prices are down, but everything else from housing and food to medical care, well, those things are up. What this means for you this fall. Going home, the Queen's coffin is on its way to Buckingham Palace from Scotland, where it will be met by members of the royal family. We're live in London. And in her circle, the Justice Department has issued dozens of subpoenas related to the January 6th riot. And now several people close to former President Donald Trump are in the hot seat. We've got the details coming up next. Back in the groove with kids back in class, we'll talk about how to make and stay on a schedule that works for everyone. We start with breaking news this Tuesday. Inflation rising more than 8% in August, and that's compared to this time last year. That's right. From the month before, prices increased just a fraction after being unchanged in July. So how does this all impact your wallet? Thankfully, here to break it all down for us, we have NBC News senior business analyst Stephanie Rule. Steph, it's great to see you this morning. First off, it seems like we're finally getting a break at the gas pump, but we're only sort of seeing that money go elsewhere. So the question, Stephanie, is why? I mean, where are the prices sort of hitting us the hardest, and where are we actually saving a few pennies ladies first things first it gives me so much joy to see the two of you rocking this hour rocking it together there is nothing thank better you, than two brilliant bold beautiful women Aww, behind that Steph, anchor thank desk you. i love what i am looking at i'm so honored to be here with you but let's thank talk you, prices Steph. you are so kind it is good news when we talk about gas prices they have been going down for 91 straight days that's a huge positive